Okay, let's take a look at how to create a button inside of Flash. So the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm just going to create a simple button with my with my rectangular tool. So the very first thing we want to do to get started to create a button is we want to access our library palette here. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm just going to pick new symbol. And for the new symbol, I'm just going to name it button. Keep it uh, very simple for today. And for the type, I'm going to select a button and keep everything as default the same click OK and we notice my screen changes and essentially what that means is that goes into my editing button editing mode here that uh, since I've selected the rectangular tool I can go ahead and create my uh, button for myself down here at the bottom I'm gonna see my uh, my timeline which is gonna have my first layer here so I'll just label that as uh, you know button graphic was fine and on that layer I'll actually draw the graphic that I want for my uh, that I want for my button, and I'm going to go ahead and just you know move this here, kind of place that towards the uh, center, which is which is fine, and that's going to be my first button that I have. Now, what I see down here inside of my timeline is I he's, I I essentially see four button states that I've got. Now, what you want to remember is the important thing about the button states is it's all just a visual representation on what your button is going to look like. It doesn't have your button do anything. It just changes the way it's displayed. So the first thing we're looking at is an upstate. So with the upstate, essentially what you have, and I'm just going to test this really quickly with control enter to go back to my um, back to my timeline here. Now I see nothing here on my uh, on my stage because that's the reason I want to go back to my scene and once I've created my button I want to drag it to the stage so I have it right there and now I can control enter and I see the button on my stage. Now what happens is since I just created an upstate that's it. That's all I see is just an upstate. And essentially that is your default state of your button. Now as I roll my uh, my mouse over in Flash, what I do see is I notice it changes to a um, a hand cursor and then it changes off to a hand cursor back to the uh, regular pointer mouse. Now it's already a button, but essentially I click on it, it does nothing. I don't see any change on when I roll over this mouse. Um, button to when I roll out into when I click on it and that's what we're going to change and change next but uh, essentially that's my first uh, my first update so I'm going to close out of this window here and I'm uh, going to go back into my button edit emote uh, button editing stage and I'll just double click there brings me back and I'm going to come down here to my overstate now since we already looked at keyframes what I'm going to do here for my overstate is I'm going to click and create a insert keyframe so it copies my uh, first keyframe over and for my overstate I'm just gonna say select back on this button and maybe I'll change it to a uh, a different color maybe I'll change it to a little bit a uh, little bit lighter blue there and that's gonna change my overstate so I'll control enter again and brings me to my same movie I had before but this time when I do roll over haha changes color it changes to a lighter blue there that essentially just means that we can see it right down here below is now I have an upstate defined and an overstate defined. Now you guessed it what's going to happen with the down state. I'll do a uh, I'll do another keyframe and this time instead of maybe changing color I'll just go ahead and do a quick little transform and I'll make that uh, about not very much smaller but just a uh, a little bit smaller for ourselves and I'll go ahead and just do a, a control enter once again and now I roll over get my overstate change now I click on it and now it's a much smaller button so I can click all day have different reaction there so every click of the mouse it's going to decrease in size now those that's it as far as visual display of the button that's all you get so when you create your up your over and your down state you're getting a visual display of your button very last is important because it's your hit state. Now all the hit state does is define the clickable area of the button. That's the key word, the clickable area of your button. So when I roll over here I notice that it changes hit state here to this bounding area of my button which I've already defined. So when I go over here and create a keyframe, keyframe it over for my hit state, 
it's going to be a little bit smaller because I keyframe my down state. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and increase the size of that button and press enter or control enter. And now I notice that right as it gets to that point, right on that border, it's going to change to a, um, a hand cursor. Now if I wanted to go ahead and make that a little bit larger, I could. Control enter once again. Wow, look at that. Look at that. See, I don't even see the button, but since my hit state is larger, it's essentially now a new clickable area of the button. I go outside of that, and then I uh, it, it changes. Now, I don't even need to have these states defined. Even I can make a, uh, a hit state only, which is essentially how we would create invisible buttons, which we'll look at uh, later on in our lecture. But uh, my hit state is just that clickable area of the button. I don't want it that big, so I'm going to go back and uh, resize it a little bit, so it's the uh, so it's the same. Control Enter, and I get a much uh, much more reasonable hit state for my buttons because I might have other buttons there. But uh, that's how to create a button in Photoshop. Go back to my main scene, and I've got my uh, bike button set up there. So essentially, what we're looking at is we've got an up state which is our default state of your button over state is when your mouse rolls over your clickable area of the button down state is when you click on the mouse you uh, you left click on your mouse and then the hit state as I said is just the clickable area of the button okay let's move on to our next lecture to take a look at how to uh, how to add some sound effects to our button